right here is, as you can read, a Naboo. What's a Naboo or Naboo? A Naboo, I believe, is a planet in Star Wars. But Naboo also was a computer. It was, it's kind of interesting. I didn't know about this thing until a little over a week and a half ago. But in Canada, our little brothers to the north, they had a service back in 84, 85, a computer that would plug into the Cablevision system up there that would let you read news, I guess send email, play games, basically almost like an America Online without the America Online part of it. Or maybe similar to, uh, I think it was called PC Link or Quick Link or Q Link that they had for the Commodore 64. Um, it's bit text over in Europe. But anyways, because obviously, because you can see, I really don't know much about it, it failed. It didn't do too well. So, about two weeks ago, somebody posted on one of the many Facebook groups that I happened to hang out on. Somebody's selling these things in Craigslist, and then we found out he was also selling on eBay. He had, and the guys in Massachusetts, he had like shipping containers full of brand new Naboo personal computers. I told myself I wanted to get one, especially when I saw the specs, where basically it's like a ColecoVision on steroids, a Z80 processor, Texas Instruments VDP, the same sound chip. 64K RAM like the click like the Atom. Um, but I also told myself I have enough toys. So somebody on one of the books, Facebook groups, Facebook's book face. <laughs> you call it what you want. Somebody on one of the groups there said, Hey, if I get you one, will you work on it? I said, I'd love to, because I have some thoughts. I mean this is basically I'm not going to go into much detail right now because I'm going to spend weeks on this here. But this computer is basically, when you turn it on, it's just a title screen. There's nothing else because it would download its information from either the cable boxes it was hooked up to or a secondary attachment that had the cable interface. So without that EEPROM giving it anything to do, it just sits there with a title screen. But there's a lot of documentation on this and it is a Z80 computer. and you can remove the ROM and I can replace the ROM with a new ROM. So theoretically, I could write a new OS for this. What kind of OS would I write for? Well, I'd probably start out with a Hello World, but you know what I mean? I could take this and I could play with it. I can... Everybody says, give us CPM. Does it have a disk drive? No. Can it use CPM? <laughs> Why bother without a disk drive? But you know what it could do. It could be fun. So anyways, I'm going to open it up. This has not been opened in almost... Was mm, 40 years? Yeah, almost 40 years, at least, from what I can tell. I don't think anybody's been in here, because looking at it, it's been retaped for shipping, but I don't see anything else. It's hard, it's hard to tell. It could have been opened. So we're going to just slice it, and if it's been opened, then I was wrong, but it sure don't look like it has been. And it's kind of like, well, why would you open up one to send to me? came directly from the guy who's reselling them. So let's see what we got here. So there's another video online here that shows somebody unboxing this. So I'm not going to go too deeply into the unboxing other than to share with you the goodness of it all. I should come around the side of the table maybe. Too. Hang on. Dry lips. Need a drink. Long weekend. Lots of coffee. So, all right, so this has been open. The reason why I'm gonna go around the corner and see. The reason why I say it has been opened is on this little box here. He's got a little thing telling you to go to his website for information. So obviously it has been opened. Okay. But oh, here's the PMLA Plus. This is the information that you could have got with this thing. So what did, what was your channel's possible in it? Pell mell. Wait a minute. Is this? guy in Massachusetts was he running this uh, was he just trying to run this service in Massachusetts did he buy up all these things in Canada and decide I'm gonna do this in a little town of Millbury Massachusetts a big town I don't know how big it is wait 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 1080 HD this is this is new shit in here excuse my language this is all new all right anyways we have this 
that old sock stuff there. And we have a keyboard cable. And it looks great. I'm saying keyboard cable because I saw this in the other video. It comes with a really long cable. And a cable cable. So we'll get to that away. So unfortunately, it looks like it, like we said, it's been opened at least to put that in there. But this looks like it's never been removed off of anything. There's the keyboard. Come on, open him up. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. It's a very nice, solid keyboard. Very nice. Okay, that's the control. Oh, these are connected here. I did some looking online and I chased down the pinouts, and these are like the same as an Atari joystick, so that's kind of interesting. Made in Korea, serial number 8801. Manufacturer, I guess that's the manufacturing date. Nice keyboard. Nice keyboard. Then we have Naboo Personal Computer Users Guide. Really, there's not much you can do with this. I mean, it doesn't do much. Yeah, we're going to make it do something, though. That's what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks here on the channel. And, uh, okay, I'm going to put this on the floor and do it this way. Yeah, I was just normally unboxing on my workbench. But I didn't feel like it today. I figured I'd come out here in the studio I use for podcasting on. And do it here. This right here, I'm going to need the back side. That's the front side of the computer. It does look a lot like a cable box or stereo equipment. I did all metal. I'm not going to tear things apart because I want to save them. Hey, it's matching serial number. The serial number on this right here is 8801, just like on the keyboard. That's kind of nice. I don't know if it means anything, but that's kind of nice. So there we go to that. That's what we got there. Then it's got the, the rubber band that's seen better days. Look, it just melted. Oh, rubber band, what happened when you keep going? What we're going to do here is, I'm going to do a quick plug into the TV behind me, I hope. If not, I'll bring out the CRT next to it. So I want to see what this thing does. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I'll fast forward through all of me on wrapping this stuff. So we're going to cook it all up and see what she does. I'm going to do my best not to walk in front of the screen. All right, so I got oh, I got the LCD out of the workroom and we'll see if we can get this thing to work for us here. Is it on? Turn it on. Oh, you're on down here. I should turn power off to already. Light him up. Light him up. Input. Input. No, we don't want to scan. Okay. Welcome to Naboo. This is it. It's doing a self test, and that's about it. Welcome to Naboo. This is all it does because it's looking for something to talk to, and that thing doesn't exist. But what we're going to make it do is we're going to make it do something else. I want this thing to turn it on and give me a little blinking cursor that I can type at least. That'll give me some fun with it. Do some graphics, make some sounds. So over the next few weeks, adapter failure, it couldn't find it. So over the next few weeks, we're going to take the Naboo here, and we're going to make the Naboo do some things. Be sure to like and subscribe. Find out what we do with the Naboo. Have a good day.